video that I made back was it earlier this year was that last year was that last year I made a blazer using a pattern and um, fabric from mood I ordered a mood mystery kit I received this beautiful pinstripe lavender fabric and I made this blazer now <laughs> adjustments to it but most importantly, I want to add it. I want to add on to it. So I want to make a three piece set. So I've already cut out um, some little cute shorts using another mood pattern. I know, I know. But this one I've used and I like. Um, I think I had a hiccup with like the fly, but it is the Aster, Aster Pants from Mood. I already have the pattern. I've already cut out the shorts. I cut them out. I cut them out a little longer than I intended. Now, with because of the fabric I received in mood, I received in my kit, I received five, four yards. I went like a month or so later, I went back and ordered like more fabric. Because I really, really love that fabric. And I was like, these are so cute. I want to make a little shorts. This was last year. And so yeah, it was a fall mystery kit. Yeah, so this was last year. So, I have everything cut out for the shorts. And now, I want to take you guys along with me. Because that using that pattern already has a tutorial. So, I'm not going to repeat that. I want to take you guys with me. Because I want to make a cute little crop top. A cute little, like, bustier little top. That I can wear for late summer, early fall. It'll be beautiful on days where it's like 70, 80 degrees with the with the blades off. And then it'll be cute when it's like low 70s, 60s with the blades on. And I can either it the way I have it styled in my mind. I can also wear it over a button up or a turtleneck or whatever for a nice layering piece to add to my collection, to wear with the suit, well, with the, the shorts and the blazer, or wear without. So, yes, so we're about to get started. I want to show you guys how I'm going to create this top. I am going to draft it, and if I, when I'm finished with it, when I'm like it, I'll go back and create a pattern for it. Um, I'm going to be using a new uh, style that I haven't used in my crop top and patterns because I have like two or three um patterns for bustiers crop tops I'm gonna be using something else so I have like all my stuff drawn up sketched out here um and we're going to use this to create what we need Okay, Sour. So I'm here in all my glory <laughs> uh, to show you how you do the measurements for your for the top that I'm going to be making. So basically, you're going to be doing a deep V-neck strapless top. So you're going to need a few measurements. Okay, I'm going to take my and measure right underneath my boob. Right underneath my boob. Okay, that's that measurement. It's just 19 and a half. And I'm gonna add about a half an inch to that, so make it 20 um, for a seam allowance. So next, I'm gonna measure my breast. I'm gonna start on the side right here. Where the sizing of my actual bra is, right into the middle. Okay, so imagine that. That is 15 inches and add a half an inch. Um, next, I'm going to measure my right underneath my underbust, which is going to be the measurement of my waist 
of the band that is going to act as the hymn and band of the song. that we're going to then use to curve out our armhole and create our neckline. So we need the length of 20 inches. So I'm going to just use this piece of paper and I'm going to count 20 dots down. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we need 15 and a half inches across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to eat the 15 because you have your rectangle here, your large rectangle, and you're going to cut two. This is going to be cut two. Right? So from this shape, these are going to be your two measurements. Next, you're gonna find a bra or a shirt that you like. I'm gonna show you that off camera. I mean, I'm gonna show you that on camera as well. And you're going to then shape out how much, you're gonna shape out how much to carve out for your armhole. So, a rough draft here. And then you're going to figure out how much cut out for your neck so this will be the strap this will be the armhole cut out this will be the front part that lays that creates that V and so you will create a line that gradually goes up to me out of our rectangle so you will cut two try you will cut two rectangles and then from there we're going to draft out how much fabric we need to create the shape that we want. So eventually this will be cut away and this will be cut away. I hope that makes sense. Hello from Voice Over Nadia. Jumping right in, I'm going to measure out the length and width I need for the measurement for that long um, rectangle that we will be creating that will become our vest front part of our little crop vest bodice that we're creating. I am taking some fabric that I've already used, so I'm going to be shoring up that bottom edge using my L ruler, and then I'm measuring out 20 inches for the length and then the inches that I need for the width. And I will use this uh, first one to be almost like my drafting um, because I didn't use mock-up, but that's okay. No fabric will be wasted okay, in the making of this video. I'm gonna be taking a pre uh, a old bra and I'm gonna use that to create um, the armhole just to give me a rough cut, a rough cut of what that will look like once I cut it out and fit it on myself. For there, from there, I measure out about 11 inches down and this is gonna determine how wide that full bus is going to be. And so that helped me determine how deep my V is going to go um, so that I don't have too much cleavage showing. Want a little cleave, but not too much. I definitely 100% should have done this on mock fabric sheet, but so now I'm gonna lay this on myself. See how it looks. I'm gonna pin this 
to the top of my strap so I can leave it. So, we have our strip here and we have our side seam here. So, this shows me two things. One, that I need to put a dart here, which I knew I was gonna need to do. And two, I can cut this a little shorter. So after playing around with the placement of the dart a bit more, I got that figured out how much I would need to take in, how much I will be adding to the overall neckline. I did take a bit of scrap fabric and help fill in that gap of where the neckline needs to come in at. Here I am marking out my darts so I know much to take in. And I placed that piece of scrap fabric to get the fullness. Now I'm gonna take the other piece of fabric that I cut. I recut this piece again, and I am going to shore up my measurements, taking my ruler, making sure everything is even with the neckline, as well as with the placement of my darts. And then I will cut this out again, two pieces. Once I have those two pieces cut out, I'm gonna take that first original piece that was my mock-up piece, and I'm gonna use it to create, after inserting where the darts are gonna go, I'm gonna use it to create the interfacing for um, one of the pieces because I don't want any visible seams on the front. I'm going to create a facing, not an interfacing, a facing so that I can do a simple um, Sides, right sides together, fold over, press down him. And it's gonna give me a nice clean finish on my vest. All right, so now I have my front pieces, my facing. And now I'm gonna take the remaining of my fabric and I'm gonna cut out a back piece. And this piece is gonna be cut on the fold using part of our front bodice to create the mock-up and shape that we need with a slightly higher back V cut out. Well, yeah. Next and line. while I'm doing that, I'm also gonna cut out the fabric that I need for my band. This is gonna become my hem um, kind of waistband for my vest crop top. Once I have all my pieces cut out, I will assemble everything with my facing and my front bodice pieces. I am going to take that facing and attach it right sides together with the front bodice. But first I'm gonna go in and sew down my darts, leaving a long tail at the end and tying, knotting that off so it's nice, flat, and seamless. And then follow that up with going over everything with the facing, sealing off those edges. After I do that, I'm going to take everything to the sewing machine, take everything to the ironing board. And I'm going to be pressing out all of the seam allowance for my facing, facing the seam allowance inward towards the facing. So then when I fold it over, everything is laying flat against the facing. And then I do a nice press on top. I'm also going to press down my dart. I do need to give me a hem of some sort, whatever the, the tailor's hem so that I can get my darts nice and fresh and crisp. But I'm pretty satisfied with how I had this one turned out. I'm gonna repeat the same steps with the facing for the back piece. And then I am going to put all these pieces together, front, right sides facing, attaching at the shoulder sleeves, and at the side seams, I'm gonna leave one of the side seams open to add some cute little closures and buttons. All right, these shorts. 
Um, I construct, I constructed, I constructed these shorts in the similar way that I constructed the pants, the floral pants that I will leave linked below. Um, I did have some issues with the fly, but the only thing is they're going to be short. So I measured 24 inches from the top after I tried them on and see where I wanted them to hit. Now I am going to simply do a double fold and press this so that when I take it to my uh, sewing machine, it's already sewn down and this will become the hem, the cuff of the pants. They are given a very almost boxer brief slouch relaxed looks. I am going to top stitch down to secure the pockets so that they lay flat and then I'm going to attach the waistband. Like I said, these shorts are constructed the same way that the pants are. The only difference is, is that I put two pleats in the back because I did have some gaping in the pants, um, in the back waist. So I put in two pleats to hope to eliminate that so that when I put it in a waistband, it'd be a little bit more cinched. Now, something I did off camera with the top, I did have to go in and do some fitting um, with, the, with the top. This little vest, a little crop vest. Um, and that's because this fabric stretches across the body. So I did bring up the shoulder seam and cut that away. And then I did bring in the side seam. I'm going to leave one side open. I wish I had a smaller zipper, but I'm just going to put in a snap closure or hook and eye so that I can be able to get in and out of it. And then now last thing I need to do is attach the waistband, probably finish all of my inside seams and then I'm done. So you guys won't see this again until it's the final review. Fools like them, they suss me out and then they go.